As summer winds down, the buzz here at Don Mills Civitan Arena and hockey rinks across the GTA is beginning to build. Now inside, it's a little bit quiet, but in a few short rink, a few for short weeks, the rink here at Don Mills will be filled with the sound of kids hitting the ice, their skates hitting the ice, their sticks, their pucks, the celebrations. Though one nine-year-old has found himself in dispute between the Minor Hockey Association here and his father, and he's almost being disallowed from hitting the ice this fall with his friends. He loves it. You know, he's he is not the best scorer. He's probably not even the best skater, but he loves every single game. Win or lose, he comes off the ice with the biggest smile on his face because he's really in it for the love of the game. Whether standing tall in net or posing for a pick in his player gear, Joshua Clayton is like many hockey loving Canadian kids. And his family has a long history playing puck at Don Mills Civitan Arena. My husband grew up in that league. Uh, his brothers all played. Now our son plays. So that family has been around that league for about 35 years. And so it came as a shock for Bridget and her husband Ryan when they learned their nine year old son wouldn't be welcome at the rink this fall. Late last night got an email response saying that they were withdrawing our son from the hockey organization and that a refund was being issued to us. The issue stems from multiple, at times, heated emails between the DMCHL's president and Joshua's father, who voiced his displeasure after completing the now mandatory online respect in sport program, which parents, coaches and on-ice volunteers must complete before the beginning of the minor hockey league season. In the emails, Joshua's father calls the mandatory $12 course a cash grab and accuses officials of ruining the game, while the president of the Don Mills Minor Hockey Association fired back, saying if he didn't like it, he could get a refund and take his money elsewhere. The emails were not vulgar, they were not threatening, and they weren't disrespectful. Grown-ups are having issues, then we deal with it as grown-ups, and right now you just used my son as a tool. Bridget has escalated the situation to the GTHL. She says they reached out to her today and told her that each association under the Greater Toronto Hockey League banner has the right to dismiss a child from the league for whatever reason they see fit. Most of the disputes that we deal with at our level are, uh, although it's a kid's game, it's between adults. The victim in this is a young kid. Is there any way that you know you could reinstate him and have him playing in this league with his buddies? If the parent's not able to resolve the matter with the organization, they have the, our dispute resolution process available to them. Josh doesn't go back to hockey. Uh, you know, that's it's it's going to be devastating for him. Do you feel that your husband could have perhaps? reacted in a different manner? I don't. I mean, I think I truthfully would have reacted the exact same way that my husband did. Now, the president of the Minor Hockey Association here at Don Mills, Ross Anderson, did not respond to my request for an interview today, though after I sent him an email, he did send an email back to Joshua's parents and saying, though he didn't like the tone of their emails, after second thoughts, Joshua will be allowed to hit the ice here at Don Mills this fall with his friends. Now this story came to us from a City News viewer. If you see news in the making, you can hit us up on Twitter or by email or send a tip to our website citynews.ca.